All right, guys, I just quickly wanted to show you a few tips on how you can improve your images and just make your images pop on Instagram or whatever platform you're using. And yeah, I won't be going too deep into what Lightroom is and all the millions of possibilities here. Um, there will be, you know, other videos coming out in the future. So feel free to subscribe and, you know, follow along. But for now, Let's just focus on these very basic, but, you know, useful tips for uh, your editing process. So there's this three pictures here. There's the surfer, there is this underexposed palm tree, and then we have this very cool kind of skater in uh, Venice Beach. And yeah, we're just gonna go from left to right and start out with this one. So tip number one, composition. Composition is one of the most important things when it comes to photography and people tend to just ignore that. So I show you quickly on this one here, how that can improve your image. Um, and make, just makes it more, you know, make it more interesting basically. Now, since we are going to upload this to Instagram, we wanna head here to crop and then to the aspect ratio four by five. And now we want to kind of reframe this because, you know, there's this kind of surfer in the background. There is this beach, which kind of doesn't really, you know, tell anything. So how can we make things more interesting and centered around the surfer? And we can basically start to kind of like play around with the grid and be like, okay, you know, rule of third. If you don't know what that is, I will also do a video about that um, in the future. But for now, the rule of third here would make sense like this. So everything is kind of like in this upper, um, in this upper third and kind of like isolating things here. And, you know, as you can see, we got rid of the shore. We got rid of the, uh, of the other surfer. And now it's just him sitting on his board, waiting for that wave in the ocean, which is kind of cool because now it kind of creates that drama to it. It creates a story. Uh, there is something we just, you know, want to know about this surfer right away. Then next step is basic adjustments. We just going to play around with the white balance and see what that does to the image. Like putting it on automatic, putting it at daylight, see what it does, cloudy even. In general, you want to get closest to how you shot the image in, in the con like in the conditions you, you, you took the image. But you can also just play around with this and see how it looks. You don't need to stick to the rule and be like, hey, it was a sunny day, so I can't use the cloudy. No, if you want to make it cloudy, well, then go for it. Like, this is a canvas. You can do whatever you want. Uh, it just needs to look good at the end of the day. So in my case, I'm just going to stick to cloudy, although it was a sunny day. You know, pulling up a bit of the, uh, the exposure here, and as you can see, I'm using the histogram up here, not the exposure down here. That's just my preference. I kind of like this. I have more control. I don't know. It looks more, or it is just more natural to me. And what I want to do with this image is I kind of want to bring it to a point where everything is kind of centered. Nothing is clipping on the highlight section. Nothing is kind of, you know, burned out or like um, underexposed. Uh, yeah, when it comes to shadows. And... Yeah, just gonna pull down the highlights a little bit and leaving the shadows alone, leaving everything else alone, to be honest, because I think we can always come back to this. And then the next uh, step would be the S-curve. And the S-curve, like the, the curve itself, is so powerful and is ignored by many uh, photographers in the beginning because it's kind of intimidating since, you know, it just, yeah. It's, it's something you need to get familiar with. And once you kind of understand how it works, it's just a no brainer and it's a game changer and you don't want to kind of miss that tool ever again. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of drop in a, uh, a little S curve here and you can see uh, like straight away what it does. It just gives the image a bit more of a dramatic um, feeling a bit more contrast it looks like kind of I don't know more cinematic it looks more Instagrammy right away right like compared to this this just looks more like you want to look at it um, so yeah that would be kind of what I would do down here nothing too crazy 
And then number four that could just immediately kind of make things more interesting is using this one up here. It's called the masking and then going down to the linear gradient gradient and just kind of, you know, we want to center our attention around the surfer. So we want to get rid of every kind of distraction uh, around uh, around him. So obviously there's not a lot of uh, distraction going on here, but we want to make him the center of attention. So I want to kind of, um, you know, lower the exposure in the lower third and bring in even a bit more drama, drama, drama uh, in this case. And, you know, maybe even more. Let's see, just always kind of look up here and then watch this one if it's kind of like, you know, going too far to the left or too far to the right, like this. So we can see, okay, there is now a certain kind of dramatic effect. And then we do the, we're gonna do the same for the other side where the sun basically naturally falls in. It's coming from that direction. So what we wanna do is we wanna manipulate the sun and give it a bit more power, give it a bit more, um, you know, of a feeling like there, like, like there would be a bit more sun, basically, um, or more light coming in. So it doesn't need to be a lot, because you don't want to go like this and be like, okay, that looks cool. Well, it can look cool, but it certainly, yeah, it might, my opinion doesn't, doesn't look too good. So you want to be very subtle with this adjustment and see where it goes, and then kind of maybe even play around with with the uh, with the temperature and the tint, but then also I wouldn't even go that crazy. I would leave it as basic as possible for this one, and then you can actually see the difference here and how things kind of like um, you know uh, look um, when they are done. And it's four basic adjustments. There's nothing too crazy. There's no kind of hue changes or saturation changes or whatnot. It's just composition, basic adjustment, um, putting on an S-curve, and then two gradients. That's it. Let's go to this one here, the palm tree. As you can see here, it's underexposed. So naturally, what I would do before anything else is just pulling it up so we have a bit more information. Again, pull it towards like the middle section that's never like, you know, that's never wrong. So you have like the the middle part properly exposed. There's nothing lost in the shadows. There's nothing peaking in the highlights again. And then what we want to do is we want to reframe it again for Instagram four by five. And you know, just make everything a bit more to the rule of thirds as well here, which would be maybe, you know, something like this. And I mean, look at that. Like this was totally unexposed. Just pulling up the exposure and reframe it already makes a huge difference in my opinion. Now I'm just gonna leave everything again alone and I want to see what the S-curve is gonna do with this image. Will it help? Well it can help but it's always a question of how far do you want to push things because you don't want to go like this right or like this like it I mean <laughs> yeah obviously you you can see why that is not a good idea so that's why a lot of people don't like the curves in the beginning because you know they don't really know how to use them. Use them subtle and just, you know, make things a bit more like they would be, you know, in natural, like, like in, yeah, naturally and not just like kind of a, some kind of artwork. So yeah, this is basically the third adjustment here. And then same again, let's try, how can we maybe bring in a gradient here? Now, I'm not really sure where the sun is coming here. I would say Probably from that side, since this part looks kind of lit up quite, yeah, quite a lot. So we could try and, you know, fake again some kind of, you know, sun, like like a, a radial filter. And then, you know, trying to see how that kind of um, behaves in, in, in this image. Does it any good or is it just not needed at all? So in this case, I would say you can even go a bit more crazy and, you know, give it a bit more of a, um, of a light beam just to make things a bit more interesting. 
and we can even like go and you know extend this like or just like pull it over and see where we are and always like trying to compare things but again it's already looking way better than than this i mean this would have just been a picture you don't want to upload to any you know i mean it doesn't show anything it's just underexposed right so basic adjustments and then we can see with a little tweaking and a gradient not too bad not too bad still you can do more if you want but that's uh for a different video and that last but not least this very cool kind of guy here with his um yeah he's holding his kind of camera here and probably shooting some images himself with his friends so what we want to do here is again reframe it and just really kind of make things a bit more you know neat and just not that distractive distractive uh <laughs> distracting and yeah this already i would say makes things a bit more uh appealing because you can see like the lower third is kind of covering this as the foreground then you can see like in the background there is a bit of like uh the ocean visible with the sky and the top and and the people standing there so that could be like the upper part and then you have the middle part where he basically holds the camera and looks at it perfectly actually on that line um are his eyes so that's kind of like a good way to frame it in my opinion it looks really nice um and then again we go to white balance and check out how different settings affect the the image and for here I also i would just play around and be like creative and and kind of you know see how things are changing but i would say cloudy in this case again looks really cool because it you, you want to keep this californian kind of vibe to it and that's usually warm so let's just stick to this for now take down a bit of the uh, exposure as we can see there's a bit of you know too much happening in the in the highlights and then also we can just kind of take down the highlights itself a bit more maybe like this and then also see how we can play around with the shadows not too crazy again that's pretty much what i would do when it comes to basic adjustments and then going down to our friend the curve and see how far we can actually you know go with it without going too crazy now here a tip if you want to make things a bit more kind of uh, flat and vintagey you can drag up this um uh, you know the tip of the of the curve basically and flatten the blacks so you know you get a bit more of this kind of yeah uh vintage vibe and have a bit more flat blacks basically and that would probably be everything i'm doing uh to to the to the s curve and then the last thing i would do again is well another gradient and as you can see the sun is coming from the right side directly uh, you know onto him here and this is where we would you know manipulate maybe Kind of the sun again and you know just see how what it does you don't always have to do this it's just a tip for you now to you know make things a bit more interesting so maybe you know people kind of you know stop and be like hey cool you know he, something is happening in this picture that is just different to other pictures and that's why i want to take a closer look and yeah we can have this kind of filter here again or this gradient and make things a bit more warmish here we can really see how far we can go with the sun not going too crazy but something like this like if i turn this on and off you can see what it does it just gives it a bit of a vibe to it and you know this is what i kind of would aim for like you know coming from this going to this i would say not too bad of a job and it just yeah i would say it stands out way more than before let me just see if we can yeah kind of display it and yeah that's the four tips i have for you number one composition number two basic adjustments number three the the curve and then number four the gradient and again subtle adjustments just make it everything look natural but at the same time 
look different too. Cool, I hope that helps and see you in the next one.